Hello my friends and welcome back. So I'm just continuing this recording straight from the last episode. Um, we did take El Calabad last episode. We do have an awful lot of um, experiences coming up by here. Let's give you a charge bonus there. Uh, Rami, we're going to give you plenish troops. That's definitely going to be helpful. My Necrotech by here. Give you leadership. Just slowly increasing my army capabilities with everyone by here. Okay, El Calabad's quite happy now. It looks like Sandy Sox is going to have to lead the charge. Suddenberg, level 3, rank 3 building. Going to lead the charge and go in. With absolutely everything. Going to encircle with you. I would have liked to have had them in the field. You will have to force march, unfortunately, for you. Good news is you can get as far as they. We'll be using your army in this battle. Good thing is you can force march as well. We can force march everyone here. Just like that. El Calabar will have some disgruntled people. Minus seven public order. But I can fight this and actually win it here and there. Which is what I'm going to do. The Fight the battle. God. We outnumber them. I got a secondary army which is fairly weak. But the rest of my army is strong. I got carrions, I got archers, Nehekara warriors. Their reinforcements only 300, mine's nearly 2,000. We'll win this by sheer numbers alone. Start deployment. I think we'll just go straight in for it. Bow behind, get that off skirmish. They vex me. Gonna charge forward. Your army is disposable, you see. I'd rather rush them. Everything that I have. Complete monstrosity. Everything coming from behind me. Where are the reinforcements? They must be behind. Advance power heavily in my favour. I'll wait for everything to come onto the field first. Is that everything? Every unit's here now? Probably not, right? I think it is. Group 2 is the second army. You're going to have two massive groups. You're going to just charge as well. Secondary group, just go up and charge. Two carrions are going to go wide right. I can pick off those crossbowmen perhaps. Uh, you can aim for the Lord, actually. And missiles. Okay, carrion. Go. Block of Jaff. Go. Actually, cross of... Block of Jaff. Go over this way. You can actually drop some bombs on them for me. I'll zoom in probably later on once I'm happy enough with what I've done. And three, two, one. This is good. We've actually destroyed those couple of units by here. This is good news for us. We've got a hell of a lot of troops flying in. Just going to keep shooting their load. Like I said, this your army is totally disposable. It's just spearmen. I did say I'd probably get rid of my spears at some stage. Block of Jaff is in on the crossbowmen. We're up against swordsmen. You might be good against swordsmen, actually. Uh, my other... Missile, uh, my other birds, sorry. Carrion. Get over there and help your teammates out. Yeah, all my troops here, they're losing, they're not doing too good really, are they? But, as like I said, they are disposable. I always get confused how to use this. Very confusing thing to... I don't know what the criteria is to actually use it. Flanish is death at uh, hit points, but... It doesn't let me use it at all. I haven't really massed it in this campaign, have I? Right, you can turn around. Two of you, two of these lords can actually fight together here. My birds finishing off. Yeah, my two birds can finish off. These by here. Just both of you. Get over there, kill those crossbowmen. 
doing a decent enough job for my other units who even got to the battlefield. Yeah, we should have now. So where's their lord in the centre? Drop him down with it. When can I replace the health of my units? That's what I want to know. Yeah, two birds just kill off the crossbowmen. Matter of fact, go that way and kill them once we know. He's going to keep shooting it into them for me. I got all of these troops. When you got Ark and the Black sort of on his way, you know we got trouble. This is like the vast experienced army as well. Just going to line them up like this. Line them all up in the line ready. Don't mind like, losing these. I can replace carriers. That's the thing I'm... I'm so happy just to sort of drop some of these units. I know I can afford to. Again, what is the criteria for healing up troops? Let me know if you know, guys, because uh, this restore, I don't really know how it works. I seem unable to use it on anybody. Lord's doing a decent job here. All of you are just ganging up on these units on the flank. I got all of these to attack the centre. That's why I'm just taking my time. I got nobody firing at me, so I can afford to line up my troops in a line by here. We're going to just charge forward. I've taken pretty much most of this left flank anyway. My carrion's doing a decent enough job here. Right, it's all grouped up. Three, two, one, charge. All right, let's see. Where's Arkham by? Arkham the black now. Wipe out their lord. I got agents everywhere but here. Want Rami to get in and get some kills. Want my Necrotech to get in and get some kills. Like you guys. Charge in and get some kills for me. My birds. How am I doing? I think I've lost one bird. No, actually, I still got them alive. Birds are still flying for me. Got the carrions over here. This carrion can go over there now. This one can fly over there. This one can actually go for the Empire Guard by here. And again, I got more troops coming in. I'll win this by sheer numbers alone. I have no Shabti, so I can't even see where it is. There's so many units on the field now, I have no idea. I think I've actually lost my Ushabti. It was just there to take some damage, basically. With Control G. Everybody's just going to charge into something and kill it. Their army's just gone, isn't it? I mean, I outnumbered them by a hell of a lot. Over a thousand troops more. And I've got beasts and all sorts flying about, so... Just not a chance. I'd like to take out some of their lords if I can. Dark in the black. What have we got? We've got cause terror. We will cause some terror. Let's have some physical resistance in this area. What's this? Fireball. Powerful versus multiple combatants. Just use the fireball there. Boom, right into them. Their lord's still alive. I don't think he is. Force Terror, Nehekara Warriors. Can't even pronounce it properly. Nehekara. Nehekara Warriors. Uh, missiles, where are you? Where are my birds? Get my birds back over here. Birds are actually doing a job for me trying to kill their lord. Who was sneak behind. All of you just go for that lord for me. Yeah, yeah, you two can go after this guy by there. I have no rival. So many troops. Ridiculous. I can't this is why I, these are the sort of battles I don't like. I don't mind having a full stack army, but when I've got two or three and all the unit cards are this small. I find it so hard to try and work out who's killing what, who's going where. It's hard to babysit some units. Especially when they all come onto the battlefield late like this. Got some troops to stand around doing nothing. Soft, 
Okay, Arkan. The neck attack can scare them off by here. My Tomb Prince just running around. Prince Balak just totally going for it by here. They use that, but they use some Tomb Strike, cause terror. Look at that, we're causing terror. Weapon damage and melee attacks gone up. I don't think the Spearman's going to stand much of a chance against the Tomb Prince like that. My Necrotech is just killing everything up here. You two are doing nothing. You can come back. You can shoot them there. You can go from that direction there. Have we killed this Lord yet or not? Well, victory anyway, so it doesn't matter too much now. Faction's gone. We're going to take the settlement anyway. I lost 800 or so. I, I did lose a few of these, but I did say that I'm going to replace some of this crap for better units when I can, so I don't mind losing them. Some decent enough kills as well. 59, 41, 36. 36 and 23 for the carrion birds. Got some money. Take Occupy. Chatted item. Ability, potion of healing, hit points. Lovely. Province been secured. We've destroyed Sudenberg. Happy days. So, got a bone wharf here. What's this? Crypt barracks. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that. Upgrade everything now. So, King Sandy Socks. Two skill points for you. Make sure you got your replenishment up. You've got that. You can have two strike. Servants. So many troops by here, it's ridiculous. Uh, let's see, King Rakash, good, you've got your first skill points in the bag. Give you your aura, and let's just make you have some leadership. That's always a good thing to go for. Now, I'm going to go with Lizardmen next, I think. I might just, do I take out these Lizardmen first, or do I go for the Tomb King faction by here, Dune Kingdoms? Because they have one settlement here. We have to sort of work this out. We have research available. Let's just do the research first of all. I can get public gold in all provinces by plus two. Income from all settlements go up. What's five grand that does? Production for cavalry growth. Income from post battle loot goes up as well. These are some half decent stuff. I think we're going to go for this actually. Proclamation of the Third Dynasty. Yes, please. It costs five grand. I got it. Let's do it. Commandments now available in Suddenburg. Public order is probably not going to be too happy. So for now, let's just get our public order up and get some untainted in there as well. That was very quickly how we dismantled that. Okay, so King Sandy Socks, what can I get you? You got some Nehekara Warriors. Give you a better backbone to this army. You only got one bow. Give you the other one. And that'll take you up to... You've got two left. I can get two on global, actually. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting them. A sepulchral stalker. Armoured. Yeah. You need that. It's going to take four turns. You may as well get the last two Shabti then. And that's a bloody good army for you. So I'm happy for you to do that. King Rakash does have a full stack. Again, you've got some of the Hekara warriors here. You haven't got as many skeleton spears. You've got more bows here. So you're a bit more specialised there. You've got some good flanking units with Crypt Ghouls as well. You need to get some more regiments of renown. You just need to heal up here. You're all healing up this turn now. Um, that's a possibility. Dune Kingdoms is a possibility. We're going to end turn here. We're just thinking of the possibilities of what we can do in this faction, this Tomb King faction campaign. We need to get a third book. So we need to keep going down this coastline, I think. I remember that my other settlements in the north now, they are undefended. Heavily undefended. I want to make sure I've got my three full stacks intact. We just run around with three full stacks, we'll win this easily. Uh, construction, blah 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 blah. We've got that. It's gonna buff us up tremendously as well. Right, Sudenberg, you've got buildings. You've got a free building slot here for you. Give you a garrison. I haven't put any garrisons down at all in this campaign. Mm, that's useful enough, that is, for income. Vineyard. Yeah, we could get some wine here. Let's get that resource of wine. Dies here. Do I even need this? Monstrous infantry. Oh, yeah, I want to keep that. 
could get you up to more public order. Let's not do it just yet though. I'm focused enough on my home regions. Lashiak could be up to a level two here for a funerary district for more income. See, we haven't quite got the level four for the tomb city yet. You can get that up for more growth and more trade. Let us go with the funerary district. Let's get that up as well. And the rest of my stuff, I think, is pretty happy enough. I think I've got so many regions now, it's going to be hard to keep up. I think we keep going down the map. I think we keep going down here. Um, oh, if I can get an army over there, I can take that as well. That puts me in direct conflict. Camry, I don't want that just yet, though. And we need that for there. So we're going to have to go against the lizard men, guys. We will have to fight the lizard men here, which I don't really want. Yeah, I do want to fight the lizard men. That's the whole continent, so I may as well go down south. Actually, ooh, there's something here as well. So I need to go there and there. We're going to fight lizard men then, guys. And I would bet Camry's got something as well. So yeah, we're going to fight lizard men. Woohoo. Oh, wait a minute, though. Tomb, 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 kingdoms. Yeah, I don't get anything. Yeah, I've not got dyes as well, see? Producing dyes and gemstones. Helps out a lot. I've actually got three mortuary cults here. We know we can get the enchanted lapsid mace. I can actually craft myself mortuary robes for armor and melee defense. That's bloody good. And I can get enchanted items, which would be in the form of speed and magical resistance. Brooch of the Great Desert. I'm going to get the armor. I can afford it. It only costs 50. I got loads. More tree robes, please. I can actually get a few of them. Let us have a little look at our lords. My, My little level 1 lord. Level 2, actually. Perhaps an agent yeah, you can have a more tree robe. You can have that now. You can actually have the bonus versus infantry for... Oh, actually, I don't want to give that to you. I want to give that to Arkan because he has a Tomb Scorpion. Arkan can have a bonus versus infantry plus 12 for Tomb Scorpion units. He's using the Tomb Scorpion, so Arkan has that. Okay, I can craft the armor for you as well. Craft armor for you. This is so good. The fact you can do this in the campaign, this opens up a new dynamic to play in Warhammer games. That's what I love about this. So I can go back onto Arca now. Basic armor. You can now have the mortuary robes. Give you a bit more. Boost you even further. You've already got some good stuff here. Yeah, you've got some decent stuff, haven't you? We haven't got a mount, but that's fine. And finally, King... Ra oh, not King Rakash. Uh, King Sandy Socks, rather. I can get armor for you, probably. Yeah, I need, I need to get armor for you. Uh... Which I can, again, I, I got enough left I can craft this, so. King Sandy Socks. And of course, I go down here, get all these resources. I can actually get 15 armor. Even better. But we'll just get the more tree robes, the basic armor for you for now. Buff you up a little bit more. Every little helps. This armor is actually going to be useful. So King Sandy Socks can now have his own more tree robe as well. I like these as well. These strict man's ruin, leadership and fighting men. These traits system is really good in this game. Nothing else I can give you, but that's fine. We'll get some more stuff crafted later on. I think I'll end this episode here as well, guys. I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and all my sponsors on YouTube Gaming. They're currently on the screen right now. For more information, check out all the links in my description and check out the links on the screen as well.